Hey there, and welcome to video three in the Grow Box Gardening series. I'm Tanya, and it's my mission to help you get more out of your food. And what better way to do that than to grow your own food? So, over the last couple of videos, we have been talking about the Garden Patch Grow Box as a way to uh, help you get started gardening without as many complications. So this thing will hold four gallons of water, as we've talked about already. It has um, a fertilizer strip, a, a special trademark fertilizer, and that goes in a strip down the middle. Uh, you only have to put in water once in a while because it's going to hold four gallons. And it also has a nutrient patch that uh, protects all of the soil and the fertilizer strip from the conditions. So that helps speed along the process of the growing. So anyway, here we are in my yard in the beautiful mountains getting ready to plant some food. What I've decided to plant, guys, is herbs. Uh, I am going to be planting two different types of basil. Basil is something that I use a lot and I'm tired of buying in the store. Um, and then I'm also going to plant some Greek oregano as well as some mint, which is also something that I use quite a bit of. And so that's what I've decided to put in the box. We're going to put eight things in there. We are going to first of all cut out the corresponding numbers on the nutrient patch. So one of the things about the grow box nutrient patch is that it comes with numbers on the top. So you know where to plant uh, each thing according to the number and the chart that they provide you with. You can't plant your plants too close this way. You know how many things can grow, how close together. And so that makes it kind of handy. You don't have to do the guesswork there. So we will be cutting out those triangles so that we know where our plants are going to go. And then we are going to get those plants tucked into the soil and cover them up with the nutrient patch, secure the nutrient patch, and we're going to fill the water well with water. So thanks for joining me today and let's get started. First of all, we're going to find the corresponding numbers on the nutrient patch and cut out the little triangle that is above that number. So this is where you're going to put your plants and you're just going to cut around it like this and then move on to the next one. For our eight plants, we're going to be using spots 1, 2, 6, 7, 12, 13, 17, and 18. So we're going to cut out all those spots for eight plants in a box. And again, this is on your instructions so you can see what you need to do. So we're going to do that first. And then after we do that, we're going to get our plants out and we're going to put them into the soil by about two to three inches and make sure that they're tucked in there. Put a little water in there because that's going to help eliminate the air that can get in around the roots and cause a problem for your plants. And then we're going to carefully cover it with the nutrient plant, uh, patch and we're going to secure that with the four pens that we removed in video one. And there you have it, guys. Then you just fill the water well with your four gallons of water. And you're set for about four months. This thing is supposed to provide them with most of what they need for four months. You might want to check the water, but apparently the, the fertilizer strip is supposed to provide them with enough food for four months. So I don't think you need to worry about that. You don't have to remove the nutrient patch cover. Leave that in place, and you can water from below. Your plants are going to wick it up through the potting soil. They're going to get nutrients from that fertilizer strip, and they are going to just grow, 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 or at least that's what we hope for, right? So anyway, guys, I hope this has been helpful. If you like the video, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and I would like to know that you're enjoying the content. So I'd really appreciate a like, subscribe, and love a comment if you have one. Leave it below for me. And if you want more information, also check out the description box. My email's down there, too. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and can't wait to meet you again.